Hi everyone. Uh, so today I want to share this old project that I did a couple of years back. Uh, so this is a, a VFD clock that I made uh, around two years back, and uh, this clock is using the IV22 tubes. Uh, so these tube I got from these are for, uh, former Soviet uh, era tubes, and I got these from uh, Ukraine. Uh, so let me quickly show you how the clock looks when it is running. So here you can see this the clock has four digits. So the primary two digits are for the hour, and the secondary two digits are for the minute. Uh, I'm not sure if it can capture this like on the video it is coming properly you might see some flicker here but visually when I see I cannot see any flicker on that uh, for the backlight I have uh, used WS2812 addressable LEDs uh, for which I can change the color uh, uh, let me show you on another piece here So this is another piece here and so I can change the backlight color of this display. Uh, so I have programmed 10 colors in this right now. and. So this, uh, if you can see here, the the diffuser I have made using a, a 3D printed uh, part. It is uh, so I used PLA to design this and printed it. So now it uniformly lights up, uh, and the glow is uniform for the tubes. Uh, you can also change the VFT brightness. So there are like uh, 10 level of uh, brightness. Uh, so this is the maximum brightness what it is set as so I'm not uh, overdriving them uh, to make them very bright because that will uh, reduce the life of these tubes so for the design if uh, I have used a two two, uh, two PCB uh, and there is an offset PCB uh, on which the all the circuit is there so this design I have used as I wanted to keep the front look very clean so if you can see there is no trace on the front PCB uh, and most of the things are hidden with beneath the PCB here behind the tubes itself so uh, this is uh, uh, for this main uh, main clock what I tried was I tried creating this uh, wooden enclosure uh, and if you can see here uh, so it uh, it has solid wood on the uh, outside uh, outside area and uh, there is a plywood inlay in between so i would say this was not uh, uh, not very successful because uh, after 2 years of using this i can see there is the the plywood inlay has started developing crack here uh, this is mainly due to the reason that these uh, uh, when the clock is running it heats up a bit uh, so my suspicion is that due to that uh, it has started uh, doing this uh, I tried making couple of these wooden enclosure uh, but unfortunately all of them ended with uh, uh, some defect so I couldn't use them uh, uh, for making these then um, this wooden enclosure I designed this simple uh, router template so this is also a PCB uh, and these are the screw holes by which I can attach it uh, so I will show you like uh, these are the few of the enclosures that I made as uh, so here you can see the plywood inlay clearly here uh, but if you can see they all ended up with some imperfections so then uh, I never finished them so they are like this for the past two years now uh, so I'm planning to get these made uh, uh, professionally uh, by using a router or uh, a milling operation so I'll show you the clock now so how the clock works so the both the boards are held together by these uh, header pins uh, 
and once you remove it like this uh, uh, the board will can separate like this uh, so the ma uh, main for main microcontroller I am using 80 mega 8 here uh, and for powering these tubes I need two voltages uh, so there is a buck and a boost converter here and both are using uh, 34063 uh, IC here so for the buck converter the voltage is around 1.2 volt and for the boost it is around 35 volts I am converting here uh, this is the 5 volt regulator for the 80 mega 8 and also for powering the uh, LED uh, uh, backlight LED here and here on the corner I have uh, kept the RTC chip and it has been kept on the corner so that it, sh it doesn't get affected by the heat of these uh, modules uh, this bug books converter here uh, and uh, this is the RTC battery uh, which is not populated here and simple buzzer is here and these are the driving transistors here uh, so for uh, driving both the cathode and anode I have uh, I kept them here yes and on the edge there are these three buttons to set the time and change the mode uh, and do other operations so Mm, yes that's that's about this uh, the current implementation in future I'm planning to upgrade this 80 mega 8 because I'm not able to fit my code fully here and I want to try some other things and add some other features but uh, unfortunately the space doesn't allow me to add more features here so in future I will be doing that uh, and uh, so this this was the early prototype that I had so uh, this had some if you can see some uh, bodge wires I have to make here to make it work fully uh, so this initial prototype was designed to work on a DC jack uh, from 5 to 12 volts uh, but this later on PCB is designed to work on micro USB so there are two, uh, two slots I have kept to populate this so depending on the enclosure then I can uh, I can populate that uh, particular jack and this one if you can see the RTC battery is here so this is when it is populated this is how it will look then yeah so uh, that's that's about uh, this project uh, so uh, so this project I have been uh, running for the past two years now and uh, the tubes have held up uh, nicely so that is the uh, main concern that I have while designing that so over time how will the tube age so uh, I don't see they have faded much after uh, using them for uh, two years uh, so I would say now uh, this design is stable so I will take it to next level now yeah so I think that's it regarding this project so if you need any information or you need the schematics for this particular project so I have not yet published them uh, depending on the uh, interest on this uh, particular project then I will publish those if uh, uh, if uh, I see uh, uh, there is interest in the design of this particular clock yes that's it that's it regarding this project thank you